This morning, we're kicking off a new series, Today's Home Chef Challenge. We've been asking for your submissions on our Facebook page, and so far, viewers have selected 17 winners. And today, three of them are here to share their recipes. Colleen Evans from Washington, D.C., one with her All About Pork recipe. Liz De La Croce from Grand Rapids, Michigan, is making pesto chicken pasta with Swiss chard. And Debbie Hodges Burroughs from Hanover, Virginia, impressed the crowd with her five-flavor pound cake with vanilla, lime, custard, drizzle. Mm. Impressed me as well. Good morning to all of you. Good to have morning. you here. Let me start with you, Colleen, with the All About Pork. All About Pork. Now, what, what made you want to submit this recipe? Well, it, you know what, uh, uh, Natalie, it's a great recipe for a novice home cook, mm -hmm. um, home chef. You can make it during the summer. You can make it in the winter if you have one of these grill pans. Great it's for Super, Super Bowl, I was thinking. And great for halftime at Super Bowl. Unfortunately, they don't have blue and white peppers, so yeah. we can't do a Giants yeah. theme. But right. yeah. Yeah. So you're starting off by getting the vegetables yeah. ready here. Yeah. And, and what, what did you season them with? What I do is I take this dry Italian seasoning and I mix it in the best oil. stuff to flavor oh, with, right? Great. I mean, you can't make these kind of. Is that just yourself? regular yeah, oil? Yeah, and that's just canola oil. Canola oil, okay. And you just mix that together, and then you just brush the pork, and you brush the, the vegetables peppers. with this, and then you grill it. Okay. Then you don't cook it all the way through. You want to cook it about halfway through. You want to just get the taste of mm -hmm. the grill and that kind of flavors. And you had pork sausage and yeah. pork we, chops yeah. as well already we have, grilled. We um, have sweet Italian sausage you can use hot. And we have very thin, the secret is very thin pork chops with bone in. Ooh. So they Yummy. cook really well. So then you just layer this like okay. this. And then you take a can of plum tomatoes. Whole tomatoes. Whole tomatoes. Right. And you just pour it over. I don't want you to splash yourself. And there we go. That's why I have an apron. Um, and then you cover it with aluminum foil and you bake it at about 350 for about 40 minutes. Okay. And, and when this it's is what comes out, out, it's done. And you Beautiful. can garnish it with some basil or some um, sage. While I try this, let yes. me turn it over to Savannah. Okay, we've got All Liz right. Delacroix. And yours is pesto chicken with pasta. Yes. Tell us about your recipe. Well, it's a great way to take advantage of the pesto you might have frozen during the summer when basil's nice and fresh. Now, the pesto we're using is store-bought. You could do store-bought or homemade. Absolutely. Whatever is easiest. Make it easy on you. Okay, so you sauteed up the chicken. Absolutely. Just add a little bit of pasta, cooking water. Okay. Yeah. The starchiness will help create a nice starchy sauce. <laughs> Scrape up the brown bits from the pan. Yeah. You can add some Swiss chard. You time you myself just so I can okay. see. Kale, whatever so it doesn't green. have to be charred. Yeah. Absolutely not. Whatever you find, just let it... Steam for a couple minutes. That's a nice and healthy Absolutely. way to prepare it. And, and then over here you have what's going on, and then right. you just kind of add back in. So is that chicken fully cooked when you took it out, it's, or do you finish it off here? It, it's pretty much fully cooked, and if not, it'll finish cooking in here. Okay. You can add a little bit of pesto right in here. Yeah. And it's a nice, easy recipe. It's very, uh, it doesn't matter if you mess up, add a little more pesto. Is the pesto the last step you want to, because you don't want to overcook it, I suppose? It's, you know what, it, it's not a big deal. It's yeah. a very easy, uh, forgiving recipe. Ah, oh, that sounds So great if you to want, me. you can just add the pasta okay. right on just in Just dump here. it right in there? I okay. use whole wheat for a little extra protein and fiber. All right. But you're welcome to use your favorite pasta. Okay. Penne is great, it kind of keeps the sauce. And here's our finished there. product. You, I, it looks like a little bit of Parmesan on the top there. Absolutely, a little fresh basil, mm -hmm. Parmesan. Kind of perks up the flavors, and hopefully you'll enjoy that. Okay, Liz, it looks beautiful. Thank you. All right. My pleasure. Debbie Hodge Burroughs, uh, you've got the we saved dessert for last, obviously, but this <laughs> this recipe is so successful. Not only your winner here, but Stu Leonard's in Connecticut and New York is is baking up this 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 dessert in all four bakeries. That's pretty cool. It's fantastic. You gotta feel great. It's fantastic. Right, so, so how do we get started? Okay. Well, we have a five flavored pound cake, mm -hmm. and then we're making a custard. Ah, okay. So the magic in this recipe is in the um, contrast of the textures. Okay. Okay. So you just want to add a little bit of your hot milk into your egg mixture mm -hmm. that has the cornstarch. Because if you add too much at once, it, it cooks the egg. You'll have scrambled eggs <laughs> yes, in your yes. custard. Yes. <laughs> we don't want that. Mm -hmm. And then back into the pan. Okay. We go. And you could actually use make a, a use a store board uh, pound cake and just make the absolutely and absolutely that out. makes it easier. Mm -hmm. Bring this to a boil. Right. You have custard. In goes the heavy cream. Yeah. You know, it's fat-free. Uh, yes. <laughs> the vanilla. And the fat-free butter. <laughs> and the fat-free butter. <laughs> that's right, because this was healthy. <laughs> that's right. So that's fine. That's right. And Whisk then, it up. Then you have your custard. Mm -hmm. And then you just, what, what do you well, do? Well, we take the custard. Right. And we're going to drizzle this. Ooh, I'm telling nice. you. Wow. 
Wow, that just looks good. Love it. And then you want to top it mm -hmm. with some fresh berries. A little powdered sugar. Dust mm. it with the powdered sugar. Nice. And voila, here's yours. Okay. Ooh, wow. thank you you have to taste. Great. You have to yes, taste. Yes. Yeah. Okay, taste. Boing. While you eat, I'll Boing. thank. All that right. looks beautiful. <laughs> Colleen Evans, Liz Delacrosse, and Debbie Hodges Bros. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. All these recipes look great. And you can find them on today.com. If you want your chance to be today's home chef, you can also head to today.com. We're going to look this week for your best Southwestern breakfast recipes. I'm going to put it in because I have to say this now.